Hello and welcome back to ETS2 and we're on episode 3 and we're carrying on from where we left off at Toulouse. Now, um, I was considering seeing if I can get down into Spain, sort of coming down, try and check out some of these because the last time I had um, Pro Mods on, they only had just got to Barcelona. I think they'd only had these and maybe Bilbo, but this is all new. So, um, sorry about that. Um, had a timer set on my stream deck for some reason. Um, right, so I'm going to have a look for a job from Toulouse down into Spain, hopefully. So we got France, France, uh, France, France. So that's up to Switzerland, Italy. There we go, Spain, down to Valencia. Uh, Zaragoza and where else have we got? Uh, Maled and Marin. So, just depending on how far we want to go, so that one is 170 miles. The furthest is Valencia, which is going to give us 454 miles, which we're taking a Actros um, Giga space basically. Sleep cab, uh, 510 horsepower, 12 speed with onions from Wilmot Transport to uh, Nordskin. I think we're going to take that one. Um, unless we do cork or corks, five ton of corks in uh, Skenya. Let's try the moat. We haven't been in the moat yet, so we'll do that one. It's not a very nice colour, but there we go. So, Wilmot Transport at Toulouse to. Um, Norskin in Valencia with 17 ton of onions. Let's take it. Let's go. So, um, by the looks of it, depending on how things go, um, if you haven't noticed, I've had had a haircut um, and a shave, <laughs> a little bit more. Um, open uh, and open um, hair free right let's have a quick look see what we got so we got a looks like a uh, it is a curtain side with a top or is it a doors I don't know actually it's got a, a canopy roof anyway um, that's a variant or it very European style trailer. Don't see many of those in the UK. Well, didn't when I was driving, but it was a while ago. Right, so Actros Gigaspace. Oh yeah, and it's a 12 speed, isn't it? So I need to go in and change the gearbox. So let's jump back inside. Navigation resumed. Right, we get rid of that because we've got a dash one. Right, that's quickly change the gearing so we'll do this and we'll see you back in the truck okay so it's a lift let's see what we've got so let's reverse first second third fourth fifth sixth yeah right okay reverses across and back so let's turn some lights on wipers on and let's get going 510 horse should have loads of power for this shouldn't have no problems at all with 17 ton it's nothing uh, so we've got a steering rear axle trailer as well uh, my head tracking is not working at the moment so I'm gonna have to have a quick look at that so I'll just get out of here and we'll pull up onto the road Turn right. So I can't check to see if anything's coming. In 50 feet, turn left. Right. Let's put hazards on. Right, I'm going to go and sort my um, head tracking and I'll be back in two seconds. Right, we're back, and you see, head tracking's all good, and it's stopped raining. 
Let's uh, mid seat forward a bit. That's a bit better. Let's get going to Valencia. Turn left. I remember it's 12 speeds the other way around to the scan you want. Right, we're going left and then immediate right by the looks of it. Right, now we're coming out of there because that's how you. Okay, right. Turn right. A bit slow there, love with the old sat nav. Second exit. Second exit, eh? Take the exit. Don't know whether this is late night or early morning. Um, let's say, is that half past midnight in game time? Yep, so it's the middle of the night, so it's early morning, so we've got an early morning start. Uh, this destination is Valencia, uh, we're going to Norskin with onions, 17 ton, and target, so 730 kilometers. Um, yeah, 10 hours and 11 hours till we need to rest. Um, yeah, we've got more than enough time to do the job in. So, yeah. So I'll just check in the status of what we've got to do. Really, I should have... Um, uh, stay on this one. Just pull that up. Then you can see. There we go. GPS, signal lost. Navigation resumed. Oh, I've gone the wrong way. Oh. Man, I've completely naffed that. I should have gone the other way and go on under, so I don't have to go round and back on myself. Um, I'll have to pay. <laughs> pay go through the tolls to come back out again. Um, anyway, yes, yeah, so Valencia, Nors, uh, Norskin. Shush! <sighs> it's bleeping. I didn't. Yeah, I, it's defaulted back. I need to change that as well. I didn't want it bleeping because that is an annoying noise. I'd rather her just turning around and saying speed warning. Be a lot uh, less. Annoying. Um, wrong gear. Right, so we've got to do an all around the houses here to. Is he going to let me in? Yep. Let's get some high beam on. Yeah, so we come off round here through the toll. Go around the back of Keep that. Right. Then take the exit on the right. Right. Take the exit on the right. Yeah, so we've got, we've got a whole day to do the delivery. But it reckons we should be able to do it in about 10 hours. So, oh, right, I'm going to have to go in and change that because that's annoying me already. I don't know about you. I thought I'd sorted that with um, the last lot, but it would help if I'm not speeding, wouldn't it? So then I wouldn't have so much. Oh, 30, now shush them up a bit. Let's turn the high beam off. Don't want to. Uh... Oh. Nine pounds. That's cost me a mistake, and I'm gonna to have to pay that again. Come back here, what I need to. Uh, come on, get a grip. I'm totally uh, wrong gears and everything at the moment. So round the roundabout and back on myself. The roundabout, take the third exit. Yeah, so why don't you just say go round the roundabout and back the way you came, because you naffed up. Put it in gear, Joyce. Put it in gear. Take the exit. Right, now, <laughs> we're on route. We're back on route after that detour.
goes to the outside one because the car's in that one. So there's only five pound for that one, nine for the other one. Wow. Keep left. Keeping left. In towards Mount Pelier. Right, so fifty six. on 56 right um, I'm gonna be quick out and back in I'm gonna change that speed warning and then we'll uh, we're good to go all the way to Valencia so you won't realize but I will have been in and out or out and in even right um, just checked it and it is on voice warning not um, buzzer um, so I don't understand that um, so yeah it'll be what it'll be um, if it carries on I'll just end up turning it off but then I might end up with speeding fines so um, it's uh, the worst of the, the, the best of, of, of two evils isn't it so I've either got to put up with the buzz like the doo -doo and not a voice or we've got to take a chance we'll get speeding fines because I'm going to miss when I'm speeding we're carrying going as we are, and we'll see what happens. Right, let's turn that off. So, literally, oh, actually, how long have we got? So, nine hours to the next stop. We should be able to do the job in. Oh, where are you going? Just under nine hours. So, wow. We should just get there as long as we don't dawdle. We'll get held up. I just realised we are in a left hand drive as we're in Europe so um, yeah I think I don't know don't understand why that's bleeping at me I got it set to verbal, but hey ho, it is what it is. Right, let's see if I can turn that down. Right, there we are, up top gear, speed set. Right, so we just keep going now until we get a bit of daylight. It's now quarter three in the morning yes right yeah. let's have a coffee see a bit more of these pro mods all the way around I might see if I can if there's a sailing from Spain to bottom of Italy and then we can cut from the bottom of Italy um, over to somewhere like Croatia and have a look at that because I've not seen that part of pro mods because that wasn't there when I last had pro mods so I wouldn't mind getting across to that side again right down in the bottom of Turkey with all the new stuff down there and the um, east um, map part as well which I've never downloaded before so um, yeah have a proper search around the good stuff until um, they uh, release Portugal which will be should be the whole of Spain and Portugal and hopefully that will um, put in Gibraltar as well I'd love to see if they put in Gibraltar um, so drive over the runway to get into Gibraltar and there's a big mountain. There won't be a lot there really. It's an army camp and a few other bits and pieces. Uh, Achievement a lot. We've just found a landmark which we couldn't see because it was dark. <laughs> oh well. Now 
cup does mess around with the old head tracking though. Uh, it's a reflection. It puts puts off good what it covers the head, doesn't it? So uh, what have I got a warning light for there? Oh, it's um, engine braking. Yes. So, what I'll do is um, I'll pop back when it's not dark and it's uh, there's a little bit more for you to see because uh, it's a reasonably long one. This like the last one. The other one was um, 600 miles. This is 700 of kilometres, isn't it? So we're in uh, Europe now. So we're in kilometres and not miles. Keep right. There. So, Take the exit on the right. Well, actually, uh, the, the speedo the on the truck right. is in miles because uh, the game's set on miles. I have to change it to kilometres while I'm in Europe. Um, but my dash on my rig is in kilometres. So, yeah, I'm getting a bit of contradiction in, in numbers. So I need to change it on the game, don't I? cruise back on yeah because 56 mile an hour shown on there I'm doing about 90 kilometers roughly Wow yeah. we're not going over the bridge it's just starting to get light now isn't it 504 we are in Spain where right. Five o'clock in the morning, and we're in Spain. Right, hello. Um, we're back, or I'm back. It's just getting daylight now. It's half past five in the morning. We've just gone over the French-Spanish border. Um, yeah, so I think, I'd say we're probably about halfway through the journey. I'm not too sure. Um, we're going over some lovely bridges. Um, Signpost for for Barcelona, 134 kilometres. And we're not going to Barcelona, so we'll we'll be peeling off from those signs at some point. So we're heading towards Valencia. So um, yeah, so I think we're probably going to be taking this one here. Maybe not. It's saying stay in the middle. Um, Keep left. Oh, there's a detour. That's not good because that means that's probably going to destroy our route, GPS as in lost. Navigation resumed. time. We're probably going to. Keep left run over time aren't we oh we'll have to wait oh 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 no oh. wow not paying attention there almost took the completely wrong route sorry mate just cut the truck up as well Oh, it's really bad driving. That that detour has completely uh, messed me up. Anyway, let's get going. We now will have to check our route summary because we may not make it in time unless this route is roughly about the same. So let's have a quick look at the route summary. So, yeah, so an arrest in five hours and the job will get it done in 5.17. So we might actually, we might get away with not having a, having to, it's going to be close, but we're running about 10, 10, 15 minutes over. So, take the second exit. Take the exit. Oh, didn't want to hit that wall. That was really bad. 
I was hoping to be able to scoot around that without having to worry about that. But, right. So, we're just going to have to keep an eye on that now. Um, I may have to put up with uh, a couple of uh, overspeed bleeps while we try and catch up a bit of time. been a bit of a uh, yeah detour so we missed our can't take the route we wanted to take we have to go down past Barcelona which is me saying oh we're going nowhere near Barcelona and uh, now it looks like we're going to be going around past Barcelona to get to Valencia let's get around Kit Kat here you're too slow <coughs> or we're going to scoot past Barcelona Let's see if they've actually optimised it a little bit better because it used to really drop frame rates right down to about 20 frames when we used to get Barcelona. Hopefully um, they've sorted that. Right, um, another toll. Let's see if we can find tag. Well, let's go for the truck one. So we've made it to Barcelona. Wonder if they've got um, some of the main attractions there, like Sagrada Familia or um, Potwell. Um, I can't remember if they had them before, or the W W uh, Hotel. A Columbus statue along the. Uh, A bit that was running a bit fast through there. Are we going to go right across the front of Barcelona? Then looks like it. We're going right down the front of Barcelona, so I think we're going to slow this down to 50. Road works like in Barcelona as well. Oh, come on. Oh, wow. What's it now? Oh, we are 50 still. There was a little bit of 30 there. <laughs> Keep right. Then take the exit on the right. Oh, so we are just, we just scooted take the along the front the right. of Barcelona a bit. Or we've just scooted a around a bit of Barcelona there don't know how much check the map afterwards we'll see what route we took um, and now we're heading off towards Valencia hopefully let's have a quick look at what we got 41418 so we're going to go right over so we do. Keep left. Yeah. Right over. That's 
good. Don't want to get it wrong this time. I did put that first one. I've already had too too many detours as it is. You see, if I hadn't have done that detour off and back, I would have been all right. I would have been under time. Would have been good, but. Keep left. It's very quiet. We're still only quarter past seven in the morning. No, it doesn't sound as nice as the, the Scania. That 500 Scania sounded real meat, meaty, didn't it? I think that was a V8. Um, I don't know what the Mercs are. Oh, excuse me. Bit of windy pops now. Right, let's finish this coffee before it goes cold. And then uh, we'll have to wait till our next rest stop to get one, which will be the end of this job. Slow down now before it starts shouting at me. Don't matter, it's gonna shout at me anyway. External noise, a bit of outdoor sounds coming in. Right, there we go. Signs for Valencia there. Tarragona and Valencia. I mean, it's, a, it's Tarragona. Probably said wrong, probably said that really wrong, and Valencia, I don't know, I don't know whether the only reason I think I say that right is because of a uh, MotoGP. I um, really don't understand why my skin seems to be getting funny marks on it on the green screen, but oh well. <laughs> I look, I have a little mere cut, I look bald anyway, so it doesn't really matter, does it? Okay, 56, let's get going. 349, 334, yeah, so I'm about 15 minutes out. So I'm gonna push it, I'm gonna go for it. I'm not gonna take a break for 15 minutes. I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna see what I get, as in, uh, as long as I don't have any accidents or speeding fines, um, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna see if we can get that extra 15 minutes without getting a fine, because uh, that saves a bit of time, that. Then again, we're still going to have to take a break, but then we'll take a break and it should hopefully be the next morning anyway. Um, yeah. We'll wait and see, man. We'll wait and see. There's the seat. Yeah, I can't see it. My turn head disappears. <laughs> right. I will see you uh, when we get near uh, Valencia. It's just straight, I think it's just straight old motorways now, so um, unless something spectacular happens or a really nice view, um, I'll see you as we're getting into Valencia for our delivery. Hey, Valencia committee. Wow, that's new. That's quite nice. Just going past Vinaros. Vinaros, Vinaros. Yeah, another uh, camper been pulled over. Valencia 142, so we're in the Valencian community, eh? Whatever the Valencian community is, so that must be like um, county, like the district. Like we have in the UK, we have counties, don't we? Uh, um, yeah, I don't know, I didn't realise that. Yeah, because I suppose Barcelona, Catalonia, yeah, Catalonia is a, 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 a province or a region, isn't it? A, um, so Valencia is the same. Uh, just a 
Catalonia, or is, is Barcelona the Barcelona, Catalonia, Catalonia, Catalan, Catalonian, yeah. Uh, Didn't know that. That's quite nice that it pops up. Quite surprised that the Catalan one didn't pop up though then when it when they had um, when we went through Barcelona. Should have had one pop up for that, shouldn't we really? Or did we? Or was that just it was just Spain? But there you go. minute for minute now so we should be all right uh, 16 hours 22 yeah as long as we keep going and don't don't do something silly we should get there with more than enough time to be able to park up and not get a fine hopefully all right coming up to the tolls again Do, 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 do. Uh, I'll head for whatever one's empty. I don't want to be sitting behind somebody unless that's for the junction coming off. Provincia de Valencia. Yeah, so it's uh, the province. Yeah. Well, that is. Uh, that's a place or a. Um, It's quite nice. Oh, oh, wow! Wow! <laughs> Major accident there. Five percent damage. I've got one percent damage to the uh, unit as well, and that's cost me money. We'll have to have a look at that, see how much that money that's cost me as well. I will uh, assess that at the end because I, I can't tell you now. Actually, I might have to check my bank account. That might tell me. But yeah, well, at least the uh, the goods isn't damaged. <laughs> but five percent to the truck and one percent to the trailer. That was a hefty old. It was just. I suppose I did. I did say that we're coming up to uh, tolls, and I should have been uh, paying attention. I was too busy uh, not paying attention to what I was doing. So, has that actually affected my run though? Yeah. See, there's two two minutes out now. Oh well, still going for it. I'm going all the way. I'm going all the way. I'm not taking a break now. <clears throat> a couple of minutes or not I'm not too worried I just want to get the load done um, without any more delays well not we've had any delays but we've had a detour we had two detours one through me getting lost and one um, through an accident by it on the road or some incident right. on the road yes I am keeping right Yeah, it's <laughs> me. I'm saying, oh, unless I, uh, um, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna tell you about it unless I have some, some, but then they go and call out a truck in the back end. <laughs> I tell you what, it's a good job there's no damage um, shown on the front because that that would have been just that whole corner ripped out of this truck. That whole corner of that cab would have been ripped out. That mirror would have been gone and. <coughs> that would have been uh, quite horrendous. Anyway, I see the see the um, marker for our deliveries starting to pop in the top of the screen. That's sitting over there, so we shouldn't be that far off. Say about don't drink and drive the alcohol, or that was drink a lot and drive. I don't know. 
More likely don't drink and drive. That that would be my guess. I'm sure the Spanish aren't into saying make sure you drink alcohol, but Right, I think we're going left here. Oh right. my life, can't even get my left and right right. I meant right, not left. We're going right here because our delivery is just down there. Oh, Valencia right. discovered. Right. Hopefully, we'll discover something else. Out. So it's going to be. Oh, I hope it might right. be a truck dealer or something. Oh, we've already got a couple of agencies. Not that we need agencies at the moment, because uh, it's a scanner dealer. By the looks of it. Oh, that'd be quite cool. I might actually take a run round to make sure Keep we get right. that. Oh, I've already got scanner dealer in Manchester, and I. So. Actually, don't need it, but it'd be quite nice to because I could buy it from Valencia, couldn't I? Yeah, I might have to do a round robin to uh, pick that Scania dealer up. Oh, we got it! Excellent, nice that saved me doing that. So, we may be buying a Scania, but it may be from Valencia then. Let's get this delivery done. How far out are we? Seven minutes. Oh, cool. See, we'll find out where we want this uh, over there. Nice, just up there next to that trailer. That's easy. Can't always be on low load there, isn't it? Right, let's have the window right up so we can get out a window and back up. Um, I did read on, um, I think it was a, a, a Reddit for trucking, uh, um, not trucking, for ETS, ATS, um, saying people were saying, oh, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't stick your uh, head out the window to reverse. Um, to be honest with you, I did this for years. I did, I, I've been truck driving for nearly three decades. And to be honest with you, I stuck my window and my head out the window a lot when uh, especially it's on your good side why, why would you rely on your mirror when you can stick your head out and you can actually actually see where you want to go it's only it's only on your blind side you're never gonna be able to stick your head out the window because it's on the other side of the truck so um, whoever they were if if they truck drove and they never stuck their head out the window good on them for being able to do it out of the mirrors but in my eyes why wouldn't you why wouldn't you why wouldn't you stick your head out the window just to check so much easier especially on the good side and you, if you if you 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 kinked around you've got loads of loads of vision so anyway that that's that's my faults on it anyway right let's do that and yeah i've got to change that because that's different to the other one Anyway, job done. We didn't get any late fees because I think we got there with about five minutes to spare. So we were good before we needed to take a break. So we haven't gone over our driving hours. So base reward uh, for 495 miles, um, 8,862, 797 XP. Level 3 proficiency is an extra 385 pounds. Uh, rank 2 long distance delivery, 427 pounds. So we're starting to get the bonuses now. Um, 199 XP and 90 for parking. So we are now, um, we're just under, just under 300 off, leveling up to five. Uh, let's go and have a look. Oh, we did level up once, so we could. 
I'm going to stick a high value in now. Then we'll do a just in time. No. What's a just in time? 3 and 20. 5 and 18. I think I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to pick a, an ADR after that. So that's that done. Let's have a look at. I don't know whether. It doesn't show your finance. See, that would be quite nice on this. Showing your finances. They do bank for getting money, but they don't show you your money going in and out as in what you've made and what you haven't. See, they give you this progress. Ah. So it gives you that, but it's not telling you what deductions. Does it? It doesn't give you your deductions. So enthusiast, when I get up to the next level, I'm enthusiast. Uh, five of the road explored. Yeah, it's a shame because history progress. It could do with a bit more information in the money side, as in speeding fines, accidents, servicing costs as well. And when you do servicing costs. When you buy a truck, when you buy extras, that should all go into your bank as well. So they need um, like an economy button. So everything coming into the company and everything going out of the company. So like when you pay a driver, if you have an owner, you have a driver paying for the driver, paying for the truck, paying for their fuel. So you got to see that going out as well, as well as it coming in. And then you find out whether your driver is being efficient or, or whether he's or whether he's getting the right jobs. So, um, yeah, <clears throat> I might actually um, see if I can submit some of that to, um, to, to them, see what they say. There may be something on the, um, I don't know, perhaps there is something on the workshop. Anyway, that is episode three done, um, load five. Uh, <laughs> um, I will highlight the price. When I edit it, when it happens, I'll highlight the price, how much it's cost me for that accident. Um, because the money, I still only get what I get. I get deducted, so I, I have, I'm not, I'm not. You don't cheat. You can't cheat because they automatically take the money. So it doesn't really matter how much it costs. I've lost the money, <coughs> but I'd like to know just for for my thing. So anyway, till next time. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. Um, our next job will be from, let's go over here, let's have a quick scout of what's about. Um, we are at Valencia. We can come all the way down to here if need be. Yeah, so Barcelona, we actually, um, yeah, we scooted all the way along the coast there, didn't we, really? But we could go up into any of those at the moment. So, uh, where else is in Spain? So Bilbo, right up to there. Um, a little bit shorter Bilbo, which is San uh, Sebastian. Um, San Sebastian, San Sebastian, San Sebastian. There's loads to San Sebastian, isn't there? Look, going to all of them. There must be quite a busy place. Uh, Zagoza. Where's Zagoza? It's halfway. Um, Andorra. Is that a place in his set? So Andorra isn't France or Spain. It's a place of its own. Okay. Didn't know that. Didn't know that. Well, I probably did know that. Just hadn't really paid any attention to it. Led. Ah. I might do that one. I want to go down there. I want to do that. Because it's the furthest one away. Um... Yeah, so that one is exhaust systems, eight ton. That's tires, um, seventeen ton of tires in a Volvo. I'm going to take that one, and that will be our next job, because I want to go down to Cluded Real, a Cluded Real, Cluded Real, or Sedad Real, Sedad. Don't know. Can't say. I don't, I don't know. But this is a. It looks like it's a articulated trailer. So this is a heavy load. 
Um, what have we got? 750 horsepower, 12 speed Volvo. We're taking that. Episode's load. Taking that one. That's our next load. In episode four, we'll retain an articulated, um, oversized. So, thank you for watching. Hopefully, you'll enjoy. Uh, you've enjoyed it and we'll see you again next time hopefully this time we won't run into the back of anybody so um, yeah there's a oh it's not it's not it's a double oh look at that nice doubles that is what we're going to be running on the next one Gnome de Monde in our um, Volvo Sim 50 so yeah till next time Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Goodbye.